reach our excellence in research. We create a working environment supporting both male and female scientists. Adam Mickiewicz University Poznań received the European HR Excellence in Research distinction in 2016. The European Commission grants the distinction to R&D institutions which comply with the European Charter for Researchers and with the Code of Conduct for the Recruitment of Researchers. The two are major documents of the European policy for enhancing the attractiveness of working conditions and career development of female and male scientists in Europe. The main thrust of the 40 principles of the Charter and the Code is to create a favorable working environment for researchers, improve career prospects, encourage mobility, as well as offer a transparent recruitment system and growth opportunities at each career stage. The European strategy for scientists is firmly based on four pillars. Ethical and professional aspects, recruitment and selection, working conditions and social security, training and progress. Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznań undertakes many and various projects to create work conditions conducive to the development of researchers of all genders. We continuously monitor our strengths and weaknesses and identify the areas we want to improve. Research is the cornerstone of any university. Making Adam Mickiewicz University in Poznań a world-recognized research university, increasing the strengths of international cooperation and the level of funding to increase our scientific potential are our strategic goals. How do we do that? Here are some examples. We boast the prestigious status of our research university. We have nearly 400 international research partners. We put a premium on compliance with professional ethics and intellectual property rights. We support professional grant management. One of our fundamental principles is implementing comprehensive anti-discriminatory practices and policies and assuring the participation of women and men at all career levels in decision-making bodies. How do we do that? Here are some examples. We implement the Gender Equality Plan. We put into practice the project called When Science is a Woman. We take comprehensive action to ensure equal treatment. Representatives of the entire research community sit on the University Senate and scientific councils of the disciplines. European Charter for Researchers requires us to apply open, transparent and merit-based principles for the recruitment of researchers. How do we do that? Here are some examples. Our recruitment procedures are open and public. Position competitions are resolved by panels of at least five people. Qualification criteria are solely merit-based. The candidate's feedback indicates their strengths and weaknesses. Stable employment conditions, remuneration which promotes scholarly activity, the possibility of combining research and teaching, professional activity and family life are one of the main goals of our university recruitment policy. How do we do that? Here are some examples. 90% of researchers are employed for indefinite time. We have in place a system of awards and bonuses for research excellence. We offer reduced teaching load to academics involved in research projects. We part finance childcare. Workshops, training, internship programs, especially international ones, and mentoring of young scholars assure an ongoing development of competences. These are the key to competitiveness of our researchers. How do we do that? 
Here are some examples. We stimulate researcher mobility. AMU units hold regular trainings. We have created five doctoral schools to support young scholars. We believe that all our actions related to HR excellence in research support the development of our female and male researchers and further the mission of our university, changing the present to make a difference in the future. HR excellence in research. We create a working environment supporting both male and female scientists.